Exactly what do you want of me? Hard proof of your abilities. Are you willing, Mr. Blake, to submit to one more test? One conducted by an outside authority? I have no objections. Mr. Dyson. I'm sure you're both familiar with Max Dyson. Hey, Profool Paula, say hello to the boogeyman. This is your authority? A fake magician? Fake? I'm a magician. Max the Magnificent. A pretty good mentalist in my time. I've certainly learned all the tricks. If the terms are as straightforward as Magnificent Max, I think we can make a contribution to his education in psychic phenomena. We might even make him a believer. You're giving away our secrets, Max. We survived the African slammer together. You were a very good student. Why not? You taught me everything you knew. Everything I know. What are you going to do about the test, Elliot? I'm going to try and fool you, Max. Unless you back off. I can't do that. You can. No, no, no. Gone too far now. For both of us. Ready, Mr. Blake? I'm ready, Max. Well, Max, now we'll see. Remember, Max? The escape we planned. And then one day, you vanished. Max, the Magnificent, was out. And then the guards knew exactly where to look for my clever little escape tricks. Hmm? My God, is that what you think? I think you sold me, Max. Freedom for you. Three more years for me. Well, it isn't true. And every hour of every night, I dreamt about being like this. Now let me go. Here and now. I gave them money. I never betrayed you. I never gave them you. If you want to kill me, you can. But try to remember what we meant to each other in that place, what we gave each other, and then put that together with this. Craziness! It, it doesn't make sense! <laughs> okay, Max. Well, perhaps we can have a drink, hmm? It's almost done. Well, you'll need this. No! What are you doing? Tell me again about our friendship. You don't understand. I had to get out of that place! Oh, oh, no! You the owner? Sergeant Russo, retired. What's the problem here, Sergeant? Blood. Of course, if I can. Oh, you can, sir. I'm convinced of that. Well, what is it, Lieutenant? Can you read my mind? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I, 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 I don't think I can get any more. Suicide? What a terrible, terrible way to die. That's the most incredible thing I've ever seen to draw all that right out of the air. The atmosphere. The residue. Yeah. Suicide. So it seems. But it couldn't have been suicide. 
The emotional track was as strong as perfume. Why would the man commit suicide, sir? I observed him to be a broken man. Well, after his test with the Institute, well, his entire universe was shattered. After his lifelong claim that all psychics were frauds, well, he had nowhere left to stand. Well, that could explain suicide, sir, but what about this? Cabbage. Cabbage? And where do you see this? A three-pound corned beef. Corned beef? Corned beef and cabbage, sir. Why would a man go to the market and buy yourself a three-pound corned beef and pick out two head of cabbage? and then go home and cut off his own head. Well, if it couldn't have been an accident, Lieutenant, and it couldn't have been suicide. Are you intimating that Max Dyson was, um, murdered? Oh, no, sir. I'm saying straight out that the man was murdered. When the police came, they found this part, what they call a collar. It was lying here like this, way over here. And the land boys, they found strong traces of blood. Mr. Dyson's blood on this collar. Which means that when he was killed, the collar was like this. And the murderer, would that be the same one that put the screwdriver back into Mr. Dyson's hand? And the murderer, he took the collar off and he laid it over here. So all of this would look like an accident. Can you hear me, Mr. Dyson? Yeah, you're okay. Here I am in the isolation chamber, looking at myself in a mirror. Our demonstration tonight is viewing at a distance. And I'm going to try and imitate the famous psychic, Mr. Elliot Blake. The young man out there, he's a friend of mine, he's going to pretend to be Max Dyson. And we're going to use all of Mr. Dyson's rules, just like when he tested Mr. Blake. Are you ready, Mr. Dyson? Ready, Mr. Blake. How'd I do? It was just a magician's trick taking advantage of the fact that you can get people to believe almost anything. Really? Will you tell us how your trick is done, Lieutenant? Well, I'd like to, Mr. Harold, but we're not allowed to tell. We're all the pages. are exactly the same. And the pen is a special pen which won't make a mark on the page. Because the mark is already there. The same mark. In the same place, on every page. Now, Max Dyson, he was a magician. And he knew ahead of time where the drivers were going and the four directions that they could look. And you knew that too, Mr. Blake. So you and Mr. Dyson must have known each other, so you could work the trick together. Well done again, Lieutenant. I shall wish you a good night. I think you killed him, sir. I've asked you a lot of questions, Mr. Blake, and I'm sorry to say your answers have not been strictly truthful. Been reading my mind again? No, sir, I've been reading an old State Department report about how life was going for an American and an Englishman in an Ugandan prison. Would that be you and Mr. Dyson, sir? And if I told you that Mr. Dyson sold you out to get himself out of prison, would you call that a strong motive for murder? Would you agree with that as a motive, sir? You'd make a bizarre executioner, Lieutenant. How hideous. 
And beautiful. Fantastic effect. And I couldn't figure out how it worked, and nobody would tell me. So I had to try and figure it out myself. Do you mind, sir? And I had to keep telling myself it's a trick so I could think about it as a trick. And I finally figured out the trick is right there in the car, where it's marked safe and danger. Maybe another blade in there, the safe blade. Am I warm, sir? What a pity Max isn't with us. You could have asked him. I don't think he would have told me. Uh, Mr. Blake, would you mind fitting that collar over me of the safe way? Are you sure you trust me, Lieutenant? Why not, sir? You're a magician. And the case I have against you, well, I have to admit, it's not much of a case. You were saying, Lieutenant, about your case? All I have is motives, some lies, the missing cartridge. No, sir, I need at least one more piece of evidence. And if I know you, sir, you're not going to give it to me. But I'm going to keep trying to convict you, Mr. Blake, because you did murder Mr. Dyson. Just a matter of time. No, there is no time, Lieutenant. Time is just a magic trick. That, sir, is the last piece of evidence. It's the label, sir. Safe and danger. I have to admit, I was very cynical, Mr. Blake. I reversed the labels. You seem very startled. You're under arrest for the crime of murder. I'll have to apply the penalty, sir. Just one more thing. <laughs>